something that we can, can all have a growth mindset and say that we will continue to strive to be better than we have been. So, here's the deal. One uh, point that might be a facepalm for you guys. Um, guys, I have the answer to your test on the whiteboard the entire time you took your test. So, in talking about the Chapter 8 test revisions, give me your eyes up on the screen real quick, but stop cutting, because please do not cut your fingers, because I'm trying to make you do two things at once. So, stop cutting, look up front, check it out. This is what was over on that dry erase board. Like, for two weeks, and for the whole time when you took your test. At the bottom left corner of that dry erase board was this section that iterated that a negative exponent is used to show repeated divisions, which puts that number in the denominator. Yet, most of us, and I'm serious, most of us, because I have the data, only like two or three of us got it right, most of us missed number two on the test. So, chapter eight mastery is in math now. It is in math now, but remember, progressings are fine. If you have a progressing, fix it on a separate piece of paper oh. and turn it back in. I, like I said in the family room, do not have enough time to spend five minutes searching for what answers are new and what answers are old. A separate piece of paper, and if you really want to make my job easier, staple it on the front of your test so I can write on that so you can see it as soon as I hand it back to you. So, the rest of the week is laid out here for you. We're just going to continue to march through chapter 9. And if we want to talk about where we're going from here while you continue to cut your squares out, let's look at my plan book. Yeah, guys, I use my plan book like probably more than you guys do. So, you guys are this column. Math 8, right? Just like you guys got to keep track of your separate classes, I got to keep track of mine. So, for Math 8, what we have left is like about eight more days of class time learning about angles and Pythagorean theorem when uh, I drew a picture of a triangle because I didn't want to write the word triangle. Then chapter 10 is all about surface area volume and that takes 10 to 12 days. We're fine. Okay, we have, just like the countdown on the Phoenix website, 24 class days left before the test except the Phoenix website countdown is talking about uh, getting your applications in, like for future Phoenix kids. So if you got friends that are applying, make sure their application's in in the next two days. So we will continue through chapter nine, right? Two, four. Now here's the only hiccup. We're gonna try to do nine, two, four in just a single day. So I might like make some of those homework problems optional. So if you're one of the people working ahead, do not get mad at me if I later tell you skip that problem, skip that problem, because that homework is for two days worth of homework. And the reason I want to try to squeeze it into one day is so we can fit the closure here and play Mega Jenga on a Friday, right? Okay. Then we will jump into chapter 10. You guys are like the only class where I've kind of like written all this stuff out. I'm gone on this Friday. So we're probably going to wait to do the chapter 9 mastery until after we start chapter 10. A little funky, but it makes more sense than like taking a test on a Monday, right? That would be kind of weird. So I'll help you on that Thursday. And then either Mr. Lipel, who was your teacher when? When I had my heart appointment back in January, either he will be your sub or Mrs. Cullinan, right? We'll get somebody that you guys know. Um, but for your class, it'll just be taking the mastery. So then we'll keep going through chapter 10 and we'll be fine. I did not continue to fill out my plan book past that because we will be fine with the count of days that we have. Cool. A couple people were stressed out. They came and asked me like, are we going to be able to finish everything before the test? First off, I don't really care about the state test. Like I know that might sound weird coming from your teacher, but uh, they haven't updated the formula sheet in five years. And I feel like, yeah, math doesn't change, but I don't know. I only put so much weight into the state test. Not that I don't want you to do well, but if we do what we're supposed to do in class, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Can't guarantee you'll be able to ace every single question, but that's fine. Who cares? It's just one test. It's one score. Parents, do as well as... Anna's like, what is he saying? Our parents care. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, care. I mean, 
If they do and they want to discuss how much they should care, you can direct them to contact me if they would like somebody to tell them it's not that big of a deal. Now, later in your high school career, when you go to take your ACT or your SAT or things like that, that you should care about a bit more. But the first state test for the first regular school year that we've had in like three years, I I'm not that. It, yeah, it still wasn't regular, right? This year was still goofed up. I'm not that concerned about it. You guys will be fine. You'll do great. We're going to have the whole textbook done by then. So let's start with a little bit of, uh, oh, wait, did we, do we need to check homework? What's due today? No, 913, we didn't go over it very long, did we? We like really quickly looked at it yesterday. Well, 914 is not due till tomorrow. So we can check that tomorrow, but 913 is due. So, guys, reminder, if, if you want it to be due today, you can. It can be due today. This is a suggestion. When we make it red, that's when it's like, I want to give you two days, right? The single day, some of you guys have complained, like, that's not enough. If you're an athlete or if you have, like, church at night or, like, Boy Scouts, like, one day is a quick turnaround. So 914 is technically due tomorrow. I'll make it red so it jumps out in your face. But, like, this is, if you have it done, turn it in. But if you don't have it done, obviously don't turn it in. So, for the recording, for those of you that want to go and check answers on your own, for the recording, I'll go through both, 913 and 914. But I don't want to take a lot of questions on 914 today because we can do that tomorrow. I got a lot to do today. And we're cutting out those shapes to be able to do a cool little lab activity. So, 914, here are your answers that you can come back and check by just viewing the video. Secretly, this is how I'm gonna get my view count on YouTube way higher. I'm joking, a kid asked me that. Okay, uh, one of your, well, actually it was a previous year, so you wouldn't know them, they're like, do you do this just so you're like, so we go watch your YouTube and you get more views? And then I explained to them how much it takes to monetize your channel. It takes like thousands and thousands of views to be able to make like pennies off my channel, I literally agreed to a YouTube thing saying I'm not trying to make money off of it. There was like this thing that changed the privacy rights and whatever. And so I'm not trying to make money off my YouTube. I'm just saying it's recorded. Go back and look at it at your leisure. There's your answers to 914. Any glaring questions where you were like, this problem just didn't make sense to me? Any big issues that we need to go over? I feel like doing I mean, I don't like doing laundry, but guess what? got to do laundry. You don't have to. Have to. Okay, so you're going to go buy new clothes every time? Nevin! That's how you go for it. Or if you Nevin! Your hand was up. Uh, can we call Oh, sure. If you want to highlight some of them, that's fine. I mean, the numbers on them also help us tell them apart. But if you're done with your scissors, let's go ahead and bring those up. If you're done with your scissors, let's go ahead and bring those up. If you're done with 913, turn it in. If you're done with 914, you can turn it in. Do you know how many like sections there are in Chapter 10? I do. Is this a question that you want the answer to? Well, eventually, yeah. Because you can also find it out I probably could look up by logging into the ebook. And the nice way to do it is they do like a little table of contents thing as soon as I get logged in. Which, If I had used my Firefox, I probably would have already. Hey, okay, so if you're making noises right now, that uh, spectrum of maturity that we were talking about, uh, you're falling on the wrong end of it. So here's chapter 9 that we got a little bit to finish. Bless you. Chapter 10 does not actually have much content. But it has three closures. Yeah, but that's like the closures for the book. That's like review of the whole year type stuff. Okay. Like, will, we do, will we do like games for like that? Oh, maybe. The whole thing. What's up? Yeah, and because most of the risks that you're taking right now are lower risk, where like if the bad thing happens, it's not a super bad thing. Mm -hmm. But then very quickly you guys get your license, and like the bad things that could happen get a lot worse, right? That's scary. And there was like a certain they had it really specific in our article, but I can't find the name. All right, we're going to start with drawing some stuff. So if you don't have uh, probably most of a sheet of graph paper in front of you, fix that. And we, Gus, if you needed something, I was just going to tell people what to do. And then you want to make the height 12 
and the base 16. We're going to be drawing a big right triangle. Okay. So okay. Yeah, not right now. Right now. Uh, well, the funny thing is how you ended up with the wrong answers to begin with is what I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah. But, like, yeah, just circle back and either at the end of class or maybe later. I just wanted to chat with you real quick. All right, so we are making a big right triangle that is 12 tall. 12 tall. And 16 wide. Now, I introduced you guys to, like, a rock star in the math world yesterday. They're extremely famous. Most mathematicians know this famous thing. Yo. Uh, thanks. Troy brought me a bin full. I think he bought a classroom set, so I'm good now. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. See, look at how great my teammates are. Send out a text, get help from multiple people. And that is how quickly our team works with each other. Anyone remember that famous triangle I introduced you to at the end of class, Max? The three, four, five right triangle. So you might be able to anticipate, since 12 and 16 are factors of three and factors of four, well, 16 is not a factor of 3, so I bet this is relating back to the 4. We'll put a little 4 question mark here. And 12 is a factor of 3 or 4, but since over here we're thinking about the 4, over here I'm probably going to think about the 3. Can I draw a 3, 4, 5 right triangle inside of this one? Yeah. Yeah, if I only go up 3 and over 4. So let's draw that. We like to make these cool, funky drawings. Oh my god! No way, I just did the thing where I made the triangle by doing a, a dot every three. So technically, I already have the line for it. I just have to make one more. Well, then did you make dots every four on the bottom? Yep, I did. I know who our so actually, I think Max is telling us a really good piece of advice. Let's make dots every three going up. And let's make dots every four going across. So this, three, four, and we said we know that that third side is going to be five. That we said is our most famous right triangle. Guys, I am not making stuff up. If you go to build a building, you have to check if it is square. And the way construction workers do that is to measure three feet out and put like a nail or something. Measure four feet out and put like a nail or something. And if your measurement between those two nails is not five, you have to fix your square. All because I attach a board to another board doesn't mean it's going to be square. Trust me. So this is how we use the Pythagorean theorem. I could say a lot of things, but this is how we use math in the real world. I get really tired of adults saying that. Your guys' world is probably tougher than some of us adults. So, let's go ahead and connect all those other dots that we got. So, if I connect the next set of three and the next set of four, so we can have a three, four, five famous right triangle. What would the next one be? Six, eight, ten. The next one. Nine, twelve, fifteen, and then twelve, sixteen, twenty, These are all similar triangles. These are all examples of similar triangles. 
similar means same shape, different size. Ooh. Do one of these days you're going to inhale your mask. Oh, right in. Maybe today. Can't take your ears right off. So yesterday we drew this in our notes. And what we were discussing, well, yesterday I asked you to draw this in your notes, but some of you don't do what's asked of you, so I don't know, Jake, maybe some people didn't. And we talked about these angles being vertical, which then means that these other angles have to be equal to each other because the triangle angle sum theorem. Here's another picture that's going to support exactly what we were saying yesterday. If these lines, if we check the slope, the slope, right? Down 3 over 4. Would this line have the same slope? Yeah. Well, yeah, because guys, if I draw a dotted line right here, down 3 over 4, down 3 over 4. Up here, down 3 over 4. Boom. Down 3 over 4. Boom. So all of these lines are parallel to each other. So actually, if I flip my image like this, now I've got my parallel lines with my transversals, right? If I turn this around, I've got my parallel lines cut by transversals. Lily? Uh, I just noticed What did you notice? All of the similar triangles all curve vertically right down and curve vertically down over, and then they go all the way up to the What we're really doing is scaling. What you said is absolutely true, but be careful. We don't want to think about the addition. We want to think about the multiplication, right? So we could do times two to all of the lengths to get the scaled up double size triangle. We could do times three to get the scaled up triple size triangle. We could do times four to get the scaled up quadruple size triangle. Yeah, you're right. They're all going to do the same behavior because they're going to be proportional to each other. So then if I look at this peak angle that I'm going to shade in green, can I find some angles that will be equal to it? Yeah. This angle because they're corresponding. This angle because they're corresponding. This angle because they're corresponding. Guys, all of your triangles share this right angle down at the corner. So let's go ahead and label that right angle. And then at the bottom, uh, I'm going to use red just because it shows up on my video a bit easier. This base angle, all of these would have to be equal to each other. Because we said these lines are all parallel and this line cuts like a transversal. So this brings us to a triangle similarity proof. The angle-angle similarity proof says if two angles in two different triangles are equal to each other, they are similar. That, so that would be the full name, but mathematicians are efficient. We don't need the third angle to be talked about because it has to be equal, right? If two angles are equal, the third one has to be equal. So if you want to make a note to yourself about angle-angle similarity, we just literally abbreviate that AA, like AA similarity. Now, what that then sets up when we have similar triangles, is proportional relationships. Pencils down, eyes on the board for a second. I'm going to talk only about the legs of my triangle here for a second. The legs of my triangles on my small one are three and four, right? I'm going to put little leg on top, bigger leg. And we call them legs because then what's the third side called? In a right triangle. Hypotenuse. 
the hypotenuse. So we're only going to look at the legs because the hypotenuses are sometimes harder to measure. We, we know them here. But, so 3, 4, this will be an equivalent fraction to the next size triangle or any of the sizes of triangles. So if I do 6 here, what has to go on bottom? 8. If I did 9 on top, what would have to go on bottom? If I did 9 on... 12, because this is times 3. This will always happen. Because similar shapes are proportional. Okay. Whoa! I'm going to bottle that up and save that for a rainy day. Now wait, you want to make it even more interesting? So that you do not have to draw this. But if I show you two triangles like this, and I this dotted line is not cutting this into four triangles, I'm going to look at two non-right triangles. If I tell you angle one is equal to angle three, and how I would write that is angle one, and guys, this is our symbol for congruent. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. What that means, what happens, is triangle A, B, C is then similar. Now, this is, this is a little, some people get confused by this. This is the congruent sign without the equals because they're not equal to each other. They just have that similar relationship. So this means similar and equal. But if I just use the squiggly, it just means similar. Sorry, Jordan, I should have said your name. That's an approximation, like equal. When you make like squiggly equals, that's like an approximation. This means similar. So when you see this symbol like in your homework, that means the triangles are similar to each other. Now, what that makes happen, what that makes happen is if, now this triangle is easier than the next one I'm going to throw at you. If this is 3 and this is 5, and, and this, this is, because I can draw 3, 4, 5, but I'm looking at the bigger triangle here. So really, this is not just three. What's the whole length across? Seven. Because guys, this is not the same size on this side. If this is five and this is seven, can I count this across? What is this if I count it across? How does the 14 compare to the seven? It's double. So what will the length from A to D what it has to be ten. He says it's a word. I heard it. Now time to apply it. So if I give you this nope. 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 What? Where'd it go? I was all Aha! If I give you the same triangle, sorry, I have my E and D in different spots than them. If I give you the same triangle, but it's not on graph paper, and I can't count it, what I do know is because the parallel lines and the angles are equal, we can go ahead and say these are similar. Like It asks you, are they similar? But I'm also in a, in a time crunch today. So they ask us, like, how could we solve for the unknown x? Guys, proportional relationships. So this proportion, and we've used this stuff before. Now we just have to be able to recognize the small triangle inside of the big triangle. How three, how three corresponds, all of my pens are gone. How three corresponds to the bigger triangle 
So like we just said, how three corresponds to the bigger triangle, which what's three plus five? Uh, eight. eight. That will be the same as how X corresponds to the bigger triangle, but that is a little tougher. It's X plus eight. So we would build this proportion and solve it. Now we're not, we, we use cross multiplication. So, moving on from that, you have those, those squares that you cut up. And you have another resource page that looks like, uh, like a big old chart. And in the back on it with graphs. And guaranteed. So you got this and you got these cut up. Right? On here, I want you to, as a team, right, talk with each other because you don't need to work like, you don't need to do double the work. When you go to lay these triangles out, you need to use the entire length of all three squares you use. If you can't use the entire length, it doesn't count as a triangle that can be made. So, and this might take us to the end of class, but what you need to do is fill in this table with the corresponding information that you figure out that makes a triangle. Uh -huh. So, let's do one together. Flex. I also should have cut this out ahead of time. Oh, uh, you did the three, four, five, of course. I don't know about lazy. I feel like that's efficient. So, hold up. You said, so Jordan said... Three, four, five is kind of like obvious for an option. So length of the small side, we would put in three. Medium side, four. Largest side, five. The areas, the areas are given to us, right? So nine, 16, 25. Small area plus medium area. 24. It is equal to the larger area, but if it wasn't, I would use an inequality symbol here. And then this makes a right triangle. So there's one done for you. We'll take some more from you guys in a minute. So if it's not a right triangle, you need to identify, is it obtuse? Is it acute? It should be one of those. If somebody from your desk could gather up paper scraps and get them in a trash can in the next 10 minutes, that would be really nice. Actually, the recycling bin would be better. So you don't have to just make right triangles. It doesn't have to be right. Three, four, five, and I did. I read it. I did. I did six, eight, ten. I did ten, eight. Wait, wait, wait. Does that work? Yes. Guys, I will admit to you, I have never taught this lesson like this. Because we're trying a new activity. I don't know. Well, I want to make sure that we're going to figure this out together. Ask one of your classmates to verify it. Uh, it doesn't. I don't think you can. So yeah, an obtuse triangle means it has an angle bigger than 90. An angle. Not all three of them. It could not have all three of them. So as Colin just showed a great example, my poster up here has the different triangle types on it. Uh, 
Oh wait, yeah, it does not it doesn't matter. They want to equal each other. It does not matter if they equal each other. We're just gonna do some investigation. Let's do this one. Let's do ten false thirteen. Oh, let's try. Ten yeah, but we're getting yeah. Okay, we're getting Okay, one hundred, one forty-four. Is that one? Oh, so I think it got it. There's a square of one. I'm cunning. Tell me one combination you found that makes a triangle. Doesn't matter if it's right or not. Like, doesn't matter if it is a right triangle or not. Jake, give me a set of three sides that you found made a triangle. Oh, five, six, eight. Five, six, eight. Any confirmation anyone else find this as a triangle? Yeah. So then the areas were 25, 36, 64. So 25 plus 36 was what? 61. So compared to 64, it was less than. And what type of triangle did you say it made? Yeah, I don't think it's a right triangle. Well, so 5, 6, 8. Let's try it out then. It's a cube. 5, 6, 8. So, I think it's, it looks close to a right triangle. But people are telling me it's obtuse. The math needs to math. Math needs to math. Um. Renal, uh, you're the same group. Aiden, give me another triangle. Uh, 10, 12, and 13. 10, 12. I got scared for a second. You were just gonna double each of these, but 10, 12, 13, 100, 144. 169. So if I add 100 plus 144, I think I can do that math. 244. How does that, ooh, how does that compare to 169? It's a three. Yeah, it's cute. So this, well, this is greater than, and you said that's a cute? So then I'm going to actually trust what you guys said about obtuse here. Yeah, because these signs are opposite of each other, right? Max, give me a combination you found that works. Uh, I just found this. Be more specific. <laughs> Sorry, Max K. Uh, uh, I, I, I always look just like how to each other after you're done. You're good. Max W. Uh, 
Let's flip Max Max's then. W. Ooh, uh, ooh. So which ones have I done that really well? I did six, eight, ten. Ooh, we haven't done that one. And well, we kind eight, of did that one. And I also did eight, ten, twelve. Eight, ten, twelve. So let's test that one out. 64, 100, 144. So the sum of these is 164. How's that compare to 144? That's, so what type of triangle was it? Acute. Acute. Oh, right thanks. now I just tried to do one using 6, 30, and 13. They didn't even put on makeup this morning. That was nice that you called them acute. So wait, 6, 8, and 10, I think this, since it's a dilation, since it's a scaling of that other right triangle, I think we can go ahead and say this is probably going to be another right triangle. And Mr. Hudson let the cat out of the bag when we drew that triangle together, that it's going to work out, right? This relates back to this paper, because 6, 8, 10 is on here. Um, we got a couple more minutes. Amelia, give me another combo that works. Doesn't have to make a right triangle, just makes a triangle. Four, six, eight. I have not. So 16, 36, 64, 40, 52. Uh oh. This one turns our symbol around again. It's less than. So, what type of triangle did that turn out to be? Ooh, it's obtuse. Now I don't have to go Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, Connor? I tried to do 13, 4, and 3, and then I realized that was... Connor tried to do 13, <laughs> 4, and 3. And guys, this is like when my wife tries to get the chips off the top shelf. So I I, 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 I have a list of reasons where I think like this is why she stays married to me and puts up with my crap. But like when she's reaching for the chips on the top shelf... It's like, like, I can watch her and it's cute and she'll like, she's like try and then she'll finally look at me and she's like, okay, come on, help me. But like, no matter how much she reaches, we just, we just can't, just can't get there, right? What if I change my three with a five? Can I get there? What if I change my four to a six? It has to be a You were eight to five. It has to be a 10 or a 12. So wait. So if I go, if I go back to my three, like Chelsea reaching for the chips. Well, what, what, hold on. Max, Max, you're, you're like, you're very much, you sound like you're like, Mr. Hudson, listen to me. What are you, what are you trying to tell me? Shut up. It's not, it can't be done with three. It has to be 12 through three. It can only be done with a four. Again, I, have, I think theoretically it should be able to be done with a four. What are you trying to say in ge generalize this? Quit saying ten, four, like generalize. What about oh. these short legs compared to the long leg? Words. Oh, wait. Words. Lily. It, it has to, if you add them up, it has to be greater. The two short legs have to be longer than the long leg, or it cannot make a triangle. That's the knowledge bomb we needed to end on. Try to save these triangles if you can. Stick them in like a folder of your book. I was raising my hand for like three minutes to save them. I'm sorry, I was using cards and then I abandoned them. Well, Come on, Mr. Watson! Well, when students like are trying to get me to shut up, I want to shut up and let you teach. I want you to teach. Hey, can we all, like, no one's going to tell Chelsea I made fun of her not being able to reach the chips? I will tell you. It's on YouTube. Oh, because she watches my YouTube. You're going to get a comment from her later. It's going to be safe. She's like, uh, excuse me, hubby. We need to talk when you get home. Also, can you please get the chips? <laughs> like, hey, you put the chips on the top shelf last night. Now I'm mad at you. Guys, for, like... I, I hope you wrote, like, I'm not making stuff up. That happens. I want to see a video of that. Uh, although if I try to record a video of it, she will probably hit me.